Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US indices for the 7th of August. Starting with the S&P on the daily chart here, and we're looking at this, well, I'm looking at this as wave one here and two here, then one and two here, and um, three, four, and five. As I mentioned before, it's possible to have uh, wave four sitting over here. And if that's the case, that's going to take us a little bit higher. Currently, from taking it from here, will take us up to the 3400, which would be the double top over here. And if we use this one here, then it's going to take us a little bit higher and take us up into the 35 area through here. So it's something that we have to navigate here, but that won't be that difficult to do. So let's go in and have a look at the intraday chart so starting with the four hour chart here and just picking it up from this blue wave four here as one and two here and three here and a and a b and a c for wave four here and then one and two here and then we're coming up for the top of wave three here which we'll take a closer look at in a moment and then wave four here and then wave five coming in around the 34 there maybe had higher but um, in there <clears throat> now if we took this here as wave four and this is wave one here then we would need to treat all of this in here this five waves in here as the third wave in here and that way we would have a wave four and a wave five going a little bit higher there so that's something that we just need to uh, navigate as we um, move through this but as I mentioned, it won't be that difficult because what will happen is that um, uh, when we have our top of this fifth wave here, the one, two, three, four, and five here, once we have that in play here, um, what will happen is we'll see some type of uh, corrective move here. And if it is corrective, uh, then we'll just look to uh, trade it up to the next level simple as that uh, if not after the third uh, after the ABC here then we can look to go short here we could go short here but the problem with that is that yes we will have five here um, and we will get five over here but we'll obviously get we could get trapped so we just need to be uh, to be on the safe side we just need to give it a little bit more rope to uh, uh, do itself in one way or the other so um, let's move in a little bit further I'm just going to today I'm just not going to focus on this one too much over here this wave four and wave one here and going up higher here I just want to get to the top of this particular structure here in uh, as one and two and three and four and five here so I'm going to go to the 15 minute chart and we'll also have a look at the um, NASI as well so um, we'll just squash this up for a moment here. So from this wave four low here, we've got wave one here and two here. And then I'm looking at one and two and three and four and five here for this little blue wave one here because we want five blue waves to make wave three. So wave one here, ABC for wave two here. And then the third wave up here, a little bit complicated, but it all fits together as a nice little jigsaw puzzle so from wave two here we've got one and two here in blue three in blue which gives us five waves in green here and then wave four here wave five here <coughs> wave three abc for wave four here and <coughs> uh, and then we're looking at one and two here and three and four and five here for for this so we can look at this here in terms of a little wave four coming into play here somewhere and then a wave five probably just um, around the 60 or 62 there and then we'll see a corrective move uh, across the 50 here that can actually take us back into this wave four here as well but because there's so much support here, I'll just go to here, but be mindful that um, it's technically, you know, d doable to come down into this space here. So that means that um, I've brought the stop up here. What we want to do, well, it just depends on what you want to do really, but we don't, we want to put the, we want to put this 
um, out of the way, really. We want wave four to complete itself. We've already taken a percentage profit here because this is the group one. If it's going to fail, this is where it's going to fail from. So we've taken a percentage here and um, we'll just ride this wave four out here because we're also looking at Friday and Monday. So in our bullish weekly cycle, we should see them as bullish and our target is the 34 up here. So in that case, we'll just put TP there for take profit. And it doesn't have to be on the level, it can be before it, because remember that there is a I'll put him under the level there because the 34 is the old high. So there's going to be profit taking coming into that. So it might just drop off short at that point. And also too with this as well, if I can just move this up here, this will be 72 there. And can I move these here up? So 80, this is all of subgroup two here. So 65. You can get that a bit more accurate there, but uh, 65, 70. So it could just fail in this point uh, here for this as well. So this little um, correction here, just, let's just go into the tick chart here and have a little look at that. This is 100 ticks. I haven't really drawn it out that well on 100 ticks, so I'm just going to bring my 5 tick chart across. This is just 5 ticks. This is where I can really pull it apart and understand each little wave. So from wave 3 here we have an A and a B and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 for the C wave of 4 and then 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for 1 and 2 and 1 and 2. Nice strong third wave up here, fourth wave here, fifth wave here, third wave here, fourth wave here that can pull back to the fourth wave of one lesser degree here. So this is a classic trading levels pattern across the, um, the midpoint here at the 50 and then we'll be looking up to uh, into uh, this area here. So we'll have wave three, wave four and wave five here. So normally wave five and wave one here will be roughly the same if we've got the extension in wave three, which we have. So we'll come up into group two. So wave three here, and wave four here will play out in that space. I think that the midpoint here will pretty much support it, um, but uh, just be mindful that it, you know, technically can come back to this point here, but I think it will be psychologically looking for uh, the 34 up here. So um, anyway, that's how that will sort of play out. I'll just remove that. And the NASDAQ here, um, uh, yeah, so wave three, an A and a B and a C for wave four here, then wave one and two here, and then I'm looking at this as one and two here, and one, two, three, four, five for third wave, fourth wave in line with the US, and going up into the fifth wave here, uh, won't make it to the 11,500, I don't think, but uh, uh, we'll look for wave four that can pull back, so we could just take this here, a tad high because I know the other one's got to finish as well and then we'll see an A and a B and a C coming back here and then and then to the 11,500 um, <coughs> here for the top of wave three here so a lot of these stocks that you've seen trending up um, such as AMD um, anyway there's a whole heap of them you know they're all we're all looking I mean I'm looking at those as third wave tops as well obviously you know because they're creating this um, so just be mindful of that if you're in stock then when these guys uh, top out here this is because after all the Nasdaq is an indicator of a group of stocks um, so those stocks will play out um, as that uh, top of the wave three only of course the ones that have been uh, you know really moving to to the upside as, as such, you know, the apples and so on. So um, let me just have a quick look at Apple. <clears throat> okay, so this is Apple here. We've been chatting about this in different ways, but um, uh, well, you can see the five waves there really, can't you? So, I mean, you need to take that on board um, as such. Uh, there could be another. So we've got the 450 here where it's playing out now so that's like the midpoint isn't it 450 if I can get that there somewhere anyway close enough and then we've got group two above that so 80 here 
And of course, this market would just love to get to 500, but um, that's another story. The 480, number eight, is what we call a profit taking number. And then we can look at 65 in here and 72 in there as well. So that's the next level there. There might be an extra wave in here. So if we look at this as wave one here and two here, then this could be one and two here and three and four and five here. So I'm thinking that this can, this little structure is not finished yet. So we'll just put that there and something like this and something like that. And you know, who knows, it may shoot up even further, but that group two area there is, is kind of where it's at at that point. But I'm not quite sure about this. I have to pull this apart on tick chart. This is a four hour chart, um, but um, yeah. And I'd probably have to look at relabeling this here as well, because I'm not putting that in as wave five. That to me, all of this is wave three here. This will be just one smaller degree here, but I'll need to figure that out. It'll be something like this here. Um, yeah, but um, my main point is, you know that like AMD and this stock here and other stocks have had this run here. And all I'm saying is that it's coming to an end here. All right, so um, it's time to, uh, to, to uh, f keep stops a little bit tighter, to take, sometimes it's best to take profit at, at highs, you know, so once this little structure here comes, is take, you know, 70% off. And then if you want to play that out, that's fine. Um, and then play the next one, but you'll need to pull this apart to see, 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 count the five waves. You need, if you can't see the five, if you can't see the five waves and you don't know what you're doing, then take the profit. Don't go into hope mode. Um, all right. I think I'll just leave it all at that. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.